terrible things to innocent people. They're totally sick. They must be fought. I, I completely agree. I mean, with I you. can't stop myself. I can't control myself. I must fight them. It's not some decision I make. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you're doing it. It was a long time ago a decision I made, but I've gone way past the point of no return. I don't even, I, I'm not even in control of myself. Yeah, well, I, I think that it's great that you're doing it because it, it allows other people to have the freedom to, to not buy into that and to, to have the courage ourselves to do the same thing. So I appreciate that. I just want to also let you know that um, I am a formal veteran, and I completely agree with everything that you say about um, the Iraq money. We were in Iraq um and I've known people who, other people who, this is their third time going over there, and they have had access to money and things like that. It's just so much corruption. And every time we try to... Oh, that's what they do. They it, throw wads of like $10,000 just down the to the soldiers. lowest person. It, it's the soldiers. And me being in the military, and I, I'm, I'm free to say it now because before they say, well, these are certain things that you can say on TV, and I told them I didn't want the anthrax shot and... Um, it was like all hell broke out. It was like I was being, you know, like... And how many of the troops help. have died of an accelerated autoimmune disease oh, after taking that? I've had, I've had their fathers on the show. A lot. And, and, it's, and I just think that it's great that this is a platform. This is a worldwide thing. I listen to you on my iPod, and I'm just glad that other people can hear it and that me just like you are able to speak the truth because this is going on and I'm living in proof and proof and evidence of that because I did they make you take the shot no I, I refused to take it and they it's kind of like they blacklisted me they made me do like grunt work um and it's better than that bio weapon getting into you but let's go back to the cash you know earlier I read the Reuters headline about four billion or three hundred sixty three thousand tons it's true you it's read true. deeper in it was fourteen billion just disappeared it's true we, we, I tell me about it. Tell take, me about the cash. I personally tell didn't take it, but other people took it, and I just felt, I was like, this is not right. I mean, it, I, mean, I, I mean, I saw it, and I was like, it would be great to have some extra money, but people were taking it home in their, in their, um, in their bags, and it was just like, I'm just like, wow, I can't believe, I can't believe this because and by the I, way, the I come generals, back home and I get on and I watch on TV and they're saying and they tell the soldiers to say, hey, everything's great and we're building, and it's a lie because we can't really say how we feel and what we're thinking and it's going on. And my thing is, I'm all for the military doing the right thing, and I was tell you what, stay there. We got a break. Stay there. I want to come back to you. I want people to hear the specifics. And of course, in these big hangers with the cash from the generals. And colonels are handing it out. They're videotaping all of it. It's for blackmail later. We'll be right back. We'll let you hear about it firsthand. Stay there, Michelle. In one delivery of four billion in cash in 2003, 363 tons of cash was delivered. No records were kept of its dispersal. Four billion dollars. And then in the next three years, ladies and gentlemen, it was $14 billion. So I guess four times the 363 tons of $100 bills. Now, small portions of that, we're not sure how much, was just handed out to the troops. I've talked to troops who said, look, man, they'd come in, and the unit commander would come in, and he would have huge... Dollies just loaded with boxes of hundred dollar bills, and they would just start giving us a thousand, ten thousand, five thousand dollars a piece, just handing it out. People go, good, pay the troops. This is done by design. In these big hangars, they had, of course, video cameras because they were videoing it and photoing it. And now they're releasing it of them just handing it out, and handing it out to Iraqi officials, and handing it out to the police, and handing it out to the former Republican Guard. I remember seeing, before the war, this happened after, before the war, one week before the invasion kicked off, and I have it on tape somewhere, I taped it, Donald Rumsfeld, Defense Secretary, giving a press conference, saying that... Don't worry, we've already, there's three Iraqi major army groups. We've paid off all three to their generals with cash payments. And that special forces had already gone in with helicopters all over the country and given diamonds, gold, euros, and greenbacks to them. And they'd also paid off uh, most of the Iraqi Republican Guard. That's why you didn't see resistance, folks. It was a staged war, just like they paid off the Taliban before the invasion. 
uh, and during the invasion of Afghanistan. That's now all mainstream news. Then, a month after the invasion, Rumsfeld got on air and said, and back then I had like three employees, folks. So I was just taping this myself. It's in big stacks in a portable building. I don't even have the staff now to even look. Just you, you go look it up. You've got the time. I mention stuff every day now. People go find it. We've got listeners who are like in the CBS and ABC and CNN archives, and I see you sneak it out and then post it because it's got the internal watermark. It's just a record of the broadcast with the time code. We're seeing that happen. So go do this. Go find it. You'll find it. One week before the invasion and about a month after, you'll get the two different statements. And what did they do? They then disbanded the entire military, and they disbanded the Baathists, who could have instantly put things back in order and gotten the power on. That was never the goal. It was to break it down and balkanize it. Now, they report $14 billion in cash, Delivered in pallets over the last three and a half years, four billion worth, or 363,000 tons, 363, not thousand, 363 tons of cash of hundred dollar bills, and it was just handed out. Now that's to compromise them, and I've talked to the troops. They did this all on camera just like the CIA and others videotaped Abu Ghraib, which was then meant to be released to inflame the Arabs even further. That's all in the P2OG documents. Type in P2OG. AP, Reuters, UPI. You'll get it all. This is so sick. Now let's go back to Michelle and then the other calls. Michelle, you said that you were in the military. Tell us what branch, and you said that you witnessed all the cash being handed out, but you didn't take part. You also said no to the anthrax shot. Specifically, give us the specifics without giving away too much about yourself. Tell us. Um, well, I, hello? Yes. Okay. Um, yes, I was in the Army, and um, without giving away too many specifics, well, I will say um, when I refused to take the anthrax shot again, I mean, it was like, I was I was the outcast. I was one of the few people in the line who said I, I just I, something doesn't feel right in my spirit. I I just don't see why. It was it was almost like in 2003 because we knew what was going. We had a sense of what was. Let going me just on add. By the way, they gave that to troops from the mid 90s to 2000. They then banned its use because Bioport, run by Admiral Crow, got shut down because they found it filled with all these microplasms, live viruses. It was killing troops and maiming them in mass. All mainstream news. Go pull it up. They suspended it, and then Bush just started it back up again in 2002. But I'll, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say that in 2002, we kind of suspected that something was going on because we were always having to do more. We did more work than normal. Um, I, I would say when we, were, when we weren't at war, things were a little bit more relaxed, more calm. In 2002, right before everybody started to go to Iraq, um, especially the Army units, um, <clears throat> there was just so much going on and I remember right before everybody had to leave I, and they were giving everybody they made us attend um, meetings saying this is what you're supposed to say if you get confronted with media people this is what you're supposed to do if your family asks and we all knew where we were going we all had a lie it was, uh, and it was all very suspicious tell us about I, was, the cash. I, was the main, I was the main voice of dissent about the cash I just felt it wasn't right in my but spirit. describe how they were uh, you know, where you were how they were well, handing people, it out well some of, some of the um, not it wasn't really the top brass. It was mainly because I, I think that they didn't want the responsibility of it. Was it. Broken it was broken up at the higher was, level. Yeah, you were yeah, you were there. It. That's the stories I've heard from other troops that I know personally. Uh, is that yeah? No, they come into the unit and hand it out there. But, but it go was ahead. Mainly the NCOs, um, E5, E6, and above. They kind of stuck it at the EA because I guess that they worked more so with the the top brass. So and again, go over the involved. go over the cash. Tell us about so it. If, so when they were dispersing it, especially when you were out in Iraq, um, either they did it discreetly or they did it out in the open. But you were kind of. It was kind of hush hush, like don't tell anybody. This is amongst us five, or this is amongst us eight, and nobody wanted to say anything about it because it was it was it was us as U.S. Army soldiers who were also working with the quote unquote Iraqi soldiers. And my thing with it was. I can't really tell if they're for us or against us because just because they put on the uniform. Now, you're, now right I've been told well. between 1,000 and 10,000 would be handed out within a month. How much cash were you seeing being handed out? Oh, more than that. It was more than that. I'm talking about per soldier. Oh, so, well, it depends. It depended because there were 
there there weren't buckets per se, but there were, I would say, more like bags, bags of just money. And then they would say, okay, we would go up to. Yeah, them. the report I've got is 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 those big dollies that are flat bottomed with boxes, yeah. and they would literally go ten yeah. grand for you, good job, five grand yeah, for you. And don't say anything, and go hide it, and don't say anything. And then we we had to come back over to the states. We kind of had to be very very discreet in how and not me personally and they've done the same thing uh, now understand the big guys have stolen almost four trillion and then they just hand out a few billion to you guys to then get because you under their thumb it's, it's kind of like you know the soldiers complain about we complain amongst ourselves like how we don't get enough so it's kind of like an incentive saying well here we know that the army doesn't pay you enough so this will be to offset those yeah but costs. that's not what it is it's, 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 it's a, a corrupt complete, deal it's complete lie and it's just to me I just want to say to all the the people who facilitated that and the person who called you a few days ago cuckoo just shame on you for thinking that this is not true and it's not happening i'm living proof that this is corruption to the highest and how long were you in iraq and what year um one one uh, one term and i was only there for a year so it was one term um uh, the, the unit i used to be in is now on their third um third term over there so it's just like it's just it's mind boggling. How often did they hand the cash out? It depended. It depend usually. Um, it depended on what missions because we would have to go off on missions. So it would depend on what missions where we were going to, who we were meeting with. If we were meeting with top people, it was kind of like all undercover. Nobody pretended like anything was going on. It was kind of like mom is the word. Um, it's just. This is also a way to introduce mainline troops into black ops, taking masses of cash. Man, and, this is... And, and it's kind of a guilt thing, and so that's why I said I can't do it, because it's a, it's a snowball effect. If you do it, and if, you, if you're a soldier, you had any conscience, and, and I wasn't the only one who refused to take it. What percentage just, refused the cash? Um, a small percentage. Five, ten percent, twenty percent? I will say maybe about ten. I mean, because what can you do if you're being told and you're being brainwashed to say this is what you're supposed to tell to the media? So they get this you. This is how you're supposed to act. They get you. What in are you groups supposed to do? Sure, sure. They get you, you in know? groups of eight, and then what? They just reach in bags and like, uh, on average, hand out how much? Just big, 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 big stacks of hundreds. Um. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I mean, you take what you can get and you fill it up and you don't say anything about it. I mean, it's just as simple as that. Did they tell you don't send this home to family or don't talk about this? Oh yeah, don't send it. Don't you don't. Mom is the word. I, I couldn't stress that enough. Mom was the word.